Uh oh, here comes the rain. It's still looking pretty nasty over around where the hall is. <sighs> Hopefully everything's uh, going to be okay. Maybe it'll blow over by the time we get back. I don't. It's, it's hard to say. I'm I'm a little bit nervous about this. We did set all the games up and things inside, but we'll see about. 58 minutes until I need to be back at the hall. To say we have a busy day planned today would be a bit of an understatement. We're actually transforming the McCann Dog Trainers facility into a place that can host a wedding reception. Uh, you may have seen if you've watched the vlog uh, the last couple weeks, Kale's sister's home uh, from Vancouver. She is having her wedding tomorrow. Uh, we're busy getting the facility ready to host that. Now Lexi's chosen to have her reception in the obedience facility, so weather's not really a consideration there. But the plan B for the ceremony is uh, the agility arena, and I think it's a great spot, but we need to be able to, uh, at a moment's notice, get it ready to accommodate all, accommodate all those people and transfer the, the ceremony in here. So we're going over the day sort of uh, getting as much ready as we can, but it's still up in the air uh, as to whether we're going to be able to, to, uh, to, to do the ceremony outside. So even with all the chaos and craziness of the day, we still need to make sure the dogs that get out for uh, at least one run, get out for maybe a couple runs. Um, we'll probably take it for a little bit of a walk later, but always in the back of our mind, we're uh, making sure that the pups get out and get to do something during the day. I've never done so much art in my life. And I actually am not complaining, it's so fun. <laughs> How am I doing? This actually is practice for the Olympic Games in musical chairs. One, check, two, one, two. You can see all the way back there. So the rehearsal dinner has ended, uh, all of the um, preparations are complete for the day. Uh, we've got this entire, our grade one hall, and if you know, I mean this certainly doesn't look like a dog training hall. Uh, it looks absolutely beautiful. All the girls and everybody pitched in and did a really great job. But I really want to show you guys this. You'll get the first look at this before anybody does tomorrow night. But check out this wall that uh, one of uh, Lexi's friends uh, put together for them. How great is that? Really cool. So the next time you guys see me, it will be uh, getting ready for the wedding day with uh, with Lexi Kale staying over uh, tonight on the property with the dogs, uh, so that she can, you know, let them out. And first thing in the morning, it'll be easier to manage them, let everybody out for a big run, and maybe do something with them during the day. But it's going to be be a busy day, so we need to shut things down for tonight. But I'll see you tomorrow morning. Well, we're here. It's the morning of Kieran and Lexi's wedding. The boys are, boys are hard at work. A few um, setup things that have to happen today. It's definitely calling for rain, so we're a little bit um, concerned about that. But we are sort of taking steps to to make it as easy as possible if we need to pick things up and move. But it's going to be a uh, an exciting morning for sure, and uh, in an even more exciting afternoon. Things are all, almost all together. Danny's just up doing the. Um, Radio check, or is that the radio check? The uh, sound check with the uh, the audio and uh, uh, the west, rest of the groom's party. Is that, if that's what they're called, I don't even know. Just working hard, getting ready. We are prepared. If it rains or shine, we're ready to go. It's quite an incredible transformation and ready for the rain. Uh, it, it's really sort of that darkness is looming overhead and we're really hoping that uh, we can get away with it not raining. The games are set up inside, everything's ready to go. So regardless of what happens, it's gonna be a pretty great day. Now, I need to go get a white t-shirt. Uh, I've left it far too long, so I'm really gonna to have to hurry because everybody's heading back to their uh, hotel uh, to get changed, and I'm a little bit behind the eight ball here. I got the shirt uh, about one hour until I need to be back at the wedding. 
I don't like the look of the sky right now. Uh, things could get pretty nasty, I think. But I need to race home, get changed, get ready. Okay, made it back to the house. Uh, 34 minutes, I think. Maybe 35, 34 minutes until I have to be back at the hall. Uh, I think I'm gonna make this. Just about ready to head out the door and I almost forgot my pizza socks. Uh, it's a long story, uh, 24 minutes, I've gotta head back to the hall, but um, at least I've got my pizza socks and we're ready to go. made it and actually with a couple of minutes to spare but luckily I was here a little bit early because it's taken me probably oh I don't know five minutes to try to figure out how to put these on uh, when you don't get dressed up a lot or very often it's much more challenging but sooner or later I'm gonna get these level and uh, oh, actually they don't look too bad so I'm just trying to see what I've missed here and you may notice we have these uh, great bow ties and you probably ask well Ken if you had so much trouble with the suspenders did you how much trouble did you have with the bow tie but I've actually got a family secret that's been handed down from generation to generation when it comes to bow ties and that's to buy a clip on here's an interesting twist of the story while I was over at the hall setting stuff up and uh, getting things ready getting my uh, my outfit sorted out I was wondering where everyone was and as it turns out, they're all over at the uh, Marty and Deb's house doing photos. So I'm late. And now I've really got to hurry. And I was early for a moment, and now I'm late again. Now, Kieran and I would like to introduce you to the ring bearer for today's ceremony. <laughs> Eight ball. Bally. Eight ball and I are going to be uh, making our way up to the uh, front, and eight ball is going to be carrying the ring, which is pretty exciting for this little guy. How old is eight now? Uh, Fifteen. Fifteen years old. Pretty yeah. incredible. And then some. You have some basin. Just calm your side. This is the groom. Just minutes before he gets married, <laughs> he's in here cooking. I got fight up. So this guy looks familiar, it's because this is Hero and he's actually Rad's dad. And he's Slice's son. Yeah. And he's Beeline's grandpa. Yeah, yeah. We have four generations. And you can see... And where Grand the, Slam's brother. Yeah. So you can see where uh, they all get their energy from. He wants to go. He right? can't wait to go chase. And here is the ring bearer from the ceremony. The star of the Bali. show. Yeah. He had the very important job of carrying the rings in a box on his collar. And he did a great job and of that. And he had a cute little bow tie on as well. Mm -hmm. As a, he turns 15, uh, October 31st. Oh, wow, it's, it's pretty impressive. Now, how do you feel, Lexi, now that uh, you've been married for a day? <laughs> I feel Is it any different? <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, it's just like this weird feeling of, our whole life had been working up to this one day, yes. and now the day is over. Yes. It's kind of a weird, like, it's like shell shock or something. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was one hell of a weekend. It uh, sure was. I bet Lexi and Kale are both uh, happy that uh, every, all the hard work and planning that's gone on. You know what I'm happy about? The 65 bobby pins are no longer in my hair. <laughs> Take them out, it's so annoying. <laughs> It was like a half an hour like to get it out of the caked hairspray. But I will say our hands still look pretty awesome. Yeah, they look great. How long does that last for? Like two weeks, but like you can see like my palms are worn off because you wherever you use most wears off. But, yeah, yeah. But yeah, like two weeks. Yeah. Oh, wrong side. Very cool. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. And my bobby pins came out quite easily. Yeah, I would say your hair looked fabulous. Oh. The other <laughs> my, my tie was difficult to take off, but You're I eventually so got it. 
I would say having a Friday wedding seems like a weird thing, but it's been so nice to have two days oh. of the weekend after. It was brilliant. Definitely. Good job. Amazing. Good job. <laughs> We're just out for a walk uh, to wind down the weekend with uh, a few of the dogs. We're with um, Tic Tac and 8-Ball and Hero and Purple. And uh, if this is your first time with us, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We publish new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. And uh, until next time, happy training and don't forget to do something awesome with your dog today. We're never hiding, we never lie. And I'll be coming